Hello and welcome to my SEMrush review where I'm going to be giving you a demo of this SEO tool as well as highlighting some of the best features in my opinion that I happen to like the most and at the end talk a little bit about the pros and cons of using this. In case you're not familiar with SEMrush, they do come with a free trial. I will put a link in the description and if you click that, you can actually follow along with me or just test it out for yourself. Let's begin. So first and foremost, this is capable of doing so many things to help you SEO, rank higher in Google, get more traffic, and so on and so forth. Starting from square one, if you're in a new niche or you have a new website, it's always a good thing to get an idea of who your competitors are going to be, how hard it's going to be to rank, and what they're ranking for so you can get started ranking for some low-hanging fruit keywords. With that in this example, I'm going to be using my website as if I'm a competitor for it. So let me type that in and let's click on search. From here, you're going to get a lot of great information when it comes to organic research. As you can see, keywords, traffic, traffic cause, non-branded traffic, how the trend has been going in terms of organic keywords, top organic keywords. But right here, I'm most interested in competitors. So what I want to do is click on this button. And this is going to be very helpful. Let's say if you have a newer website, you're not familiar with too much with a niche. And you can see the competitive level. The higher it is, the bigger the competitor it's going to be. So if you scroll down, you're going to see plenty of them where you can actually put them in a separate aspect of SEMrush to see a lot of their stats as well. What keywords are they ranking for? What backlinks do they have where you can get some opportunities to reach out and get them for yourself? I'm going to use Chris Digital for this example. He has a great website. So what I'm going to do is just copy this and I want to put this in the same section right here. So let's click there. And if I click on positions, now we can see some of his top keywords where he's going to be ranking for the top aspects. And what I really like, if you want to find some low hanging fruit in terms of your competitors, click on the uh, KD right here. And SEMrush has a very good keyword difficulty score. They even talk about how they rate it. In my opinion, it's a great one. I know keyword difficulties aren't like the be all end all, but their ranking is based upon a few really good factors like the authority of the website, how many domains are pointing to them and so on and so forth. Either way, what we can do is click on very easy and once that loads, it's going to give us a ton of keywords or a good amount, 154 to be exact, of keywords that you can go for that are going to be relatively easy based upon the KD score, which you can see here. In fact, quite a few of these I'm ranked for as well, simply because they're easier to do. You don't pretty much need any backlinks depending on the competition and so on and so forth. Speaking of keywords, this is going to be probably one of the biggest features that I like the most because I'm always doing keyword research. I love looking for new keywords to utilize, whether it's going to be for YouTube. Yes, you can use SEMrush for YouTube technically, and of course, for your website as well. So what I want to do, I'm going to open up a new tab with the Keyword Magic Tool. The Keyword Magic Tool is going to make your life so much easier if you're looking for keywords. What I like doing is putting in a seed keyword or just a main keyword. So for example, if you're interested in keto diet, you're putting in keto diet. If you're interested in internet marketing, you can put in internet marketing or you can utilize specific keywords for products to talk about related. You know, if you want to create videos for it, you can do that for YouTube. Obviously, if you want to do it for articles, you can do the same thing. Since we're talking about SEMrush, I'm going to put SEMrush in here. And let's click on search to get some keywords related to it. As you can see, we have 7,899 total keywords that we can go after, whether it's going to be articles or videos. I'll bring that up multiple times just because I know a lot of people who do SEO tend to like YouTube like I do. But overall, you can sort by questions, which is good. Something I've noticed in my SEO career is that not a lot of people like going after questions like, is SEMrush for beginners? Can I use this for XYZ? Is this going to cost a certain amount of money? Usually, these are the final questions that someone might ask before making a purchase. So a lot of times, they can be great articles to create content about. Aside from that, you can search for broad, phrase, exact, or related. And there's plenty of different variables we can include here. So this is where you can add the word does. So it's going to have any keywords with like does SEMrush so and so and so, or is SEMrush so and so and so. And you can do that for any other keywords or seed keywords that you're going to be putting in. Obviously, you're probably not going to be putting SEMrush in here, but this is just an example. Once again, for the low hanging fruit, simply go to the very easy section when, when it comes to the difficulty. And just like that, we're going to have a few keywords that we can go after when it comes to getting started. Like I said, if you have a brand new website, this is going to be extremely useful. And if you're already an authority website, this is going to be probably just as useful because you already have some authority. And if you're going after easy to rank keywords, you're probably not going to have too much difficulty ranking them, especially if you throw some inner links to it, you're probably going to be golden. Okay. So that's how you can find some very easy to rank keywords. I love that, especially for the fact when you do seed keywords, you go from there and it's pretty easy to find some that you can create content about. So for me personally, keyword research is a very big aspect of SEMrush. 
on one hand, there's keywords, and on the other is going to be backlinks because face it, pretty much almost all websites need them, especially if they're in really competitive niches. Just writing content isn't always going to do the trick. So with that, let's take a look at the backlink section. As you can see here, you can get backlink analytics. You can do an audit. There's a link building tool and bulk analysis. For this, I just want to talk about backlink analytics. It's a very easy to way to look at what your competitors have for links and, of course, get some of your own by doing outreach and, of course, writing guest posts and so on and so forth. Let's click on backlink analytics. And for this, what I'm going to do is just utilize my own website as if I was a competitor and we'll go from there. And it's going to give you plenty of data in terms of referring domains, you know, all time. It's been going up a little bit down. Of course, you get some fun competitors sending, uh, you know, spam links to your website. If you've been doing SEO, it's going to happen eventually. You can just disavow them, no big deal. But what you want to do is go to the backlink section. So if you were a competitor for my website, what you could do is go down here. What I like doing is choosing active. We just want active backlinks. We don't care about ones that are lost so much for me personally, at least in my opinion. We want follow because we want that link juice. And when it has links per referring domain, let's just go with one. That means if I had, you know, 10 links from Moosend, I just want to show one of them because I'm just looking for the specific domain to get a backlink from. I don't need multiple you know, recurring instances of it. So these are just going to be some examples when you take a look at them. So this is going to be where it's from. You can actually click on this to actually open it up and see what it looks like. Uh, this is going to be the anchor, and this is going to be where it goes to. So what you can do is kind of go through these, uh, see if you can get some opportunities for getting backlinks. I'll give you a hint. Some of these are from Help a Reporter Out, but aside from that, a lot of these are going to be outreach. Some of them are going to be a little bit tougher to get some you might have to do a little bit more work i'm just telling you that because I've, I've gotten them but it ranks it by the authority score which is nice as well which means usually the ones up on top will have a little bit more authority more juice better links overall and you can scroll down and click on these and that's where you can pretty much go from there and create a spreadsheet that's what i like doing of the specific website their email and how you can reach out to them and ask for any type of guest post or whatever it's going to be in terms of getting your backlink so that's just something else I really like about SEMrush. The fact that there's so many tools, features, and perks when it comes to getting keyword research done and just looking for backlink opportunities, it's really going to help you out. That's only scratching the surface when it comes to this actual SEO tool overall. There's also the ability to track your keywords if that's what you're looking for. You can audit your website. You can find broken links and toxic backlinks that you can disavow or either remove and so much more. As you can see on the side, this is just going to be the SEO setting. Then there's going to be a few more more under local SEO, advertising, social media, content marketing trends, and of course, agency solutions. With that being said, let's take a quick glance at some of these SEMrush pros and cons, at least that I've found from using this software. So first and foremost, the pros, what we like, what I like. As you can tell already, I'm super hyped up about all the backlink features and the keyword features. Just these two sections right here, I love the most. Okay, there's also keyword gap and some of these that are going to kind of overflow with the other, you know, features. You can mix and match. You can do a lot of cool things. You know, as you get more used to this software, you're going to find that you can combine a lot of these tools to get even better data overall. I think if you're looking for keywords, you're going to get just so much information, so much data that you'll be able to create content for a very long time. And that's a good thing because I know as an SEO or even as a content creator overall in general, you never really want to be in that position where like, what do I do next? Because it takes a lot of brain power, a lot of brain space, a lot of thinking to kind of be like, oh, I, don't, I just don't know what to do next. With this, you're probably not going to have that, especially if you're you know willing to do the work, write the content or outsource it. There's just so many great keyword opportunities. And the same thing goes with backlink opportunities. SEMrush makes it very easy to find competitor backlinks where you can just see where they are, uh, check them out, do some outreach, and of course, go from there. Aside from that, SEMrush has so many just little micro tools to help you with a lot of small wins and big wins when it comes to SEO, whether it's going to be your website audit, whether it's going to be the SEO content writer to help fix a few mistakes on one of your articles that you want to rank higher. Like I said, I didn't want to go through all these, more specifically some of the best features. I have plenty of other videos when it comes to a lot of these smaller features, but overall, there's a lot to like in terms of helping you out. It's also nice that SEMrush comes with a free trial. At least you can test it out, kind of give it a test drive before you actually make any payments. And it gives you enough time to kind of get used to it and so on and so forth. Last but not least, I do have to say, this is like a Swiss army knife for SEOs. Pretty much everything you need is going to be here. I can't think of too many things else that I would want in addition to what they already have. Like I said, all the keywords in the backlink sections are fantastic and I think they'll really help you out. On the other hand, there are a few cons or dislikes. Something right off the bat, which I wanted to bring up, 
up for some odd reason their chrome extension just hasn't worked i thought it was me maybe something was wrong heck i get things wrong all the time sometimes it, it doesn't work on my section because i'm not just doing it properly but i actually looked in the reviews of this and said waste of time doesn't do anything it's only a link to a website does not display rank doesn't do anything so it seems like i'm certainly not alone when it comes to their semrush uh, google chrome extension all in all this isn't a huge deal but it would be nice to have because i love extensions especially when you have a paid tool usually they can give you a lot more details especially when you're scrolling through google and so on and so forth so it'd be nice if that actually worked but then again a lot of people might not even know about this or even want to use it especially when semrush already has so much great data to begin with within their software Aside from that, I do want to say that some of the additional upgrades could be a little bit costly. I have this in a new tab here. So we have the prices starting at 119, moving on to 229 and 449, depending on how many people you need, or if you're a newbie, or if you're a small team, obviously, once you get bigger, you might want to go with some of these plans, but they can add up if you're looking for other aspects like the uh, listing management for local SEO could be 20 or $40 a month. If you want additional users, that's going to move up depending on the plan you have. Then of course, there's going to be Trends, Agency, Growth Kit, and Impact Hero, looking at around $150 or $200 a month if you want any of those. For me personally, I don't think I need any of those, especially when it comes to trends. That's not my cup of tea. I think there's plenty of information in here to really get you up and running, whether you're a newer website, experienced, or even expert website. You know you have a ton of authority. However, if you want to use those, like I said, they can certainly add up. And last but not least, I'm not going to say this is a dislike or a con, but just something that you can expect when it comes to using SEMrush is that there's certainly going to be a small learning curve. This isn't exactly a software that has one main feature. And once you figure out how to use that, you're going to be golden. However, they do give you plenty of steps. But the fact that you're going to probably want to try out a few things like a keyword gap, a backlink gap, uh, maybe a backlink audit, there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. And this is definitely one of those software tools where the more you use it, the more you're going to comprehend it, understand how it works. And you'll probably be able to do many more advanced things. Like I talked about when it comes to keyword research, it's absolutely very easy. You enter in a seed keyword, you go from there, you can sort by difficulty and then presto, figure out which keywords you want to go for in terms of the low hanging fruit. But those are just kind of some of the dislikes that I've come across when it comes to this. I'm not saying the small learning curve is a dislike, but more something you should understand before getting started with a complex SEO software. All in all, this tool is definitely worth it, especially if you're looking for more backlink opportunities and you really want to dial in your keyword research. This is going to allow you to get so many keywords that you could probably just create a year's worth of content in advance in terms of your assigning and scheduling. And then, of course, do that if you want. However, that's going to be up to you. So yes, definitely check out SEMrush, you know, a great tool if you're looking for those types of things and comes with many more SEO tools that you can utilize. I will leave a link in the description. And if you click that, you can get a free trial for SEMrush just to test it out, go through some of the great tools that they have and make sure it's going to be perfect for you. That pretty much concludes my SEMrush review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Once again, the link for the free trial will be there as well. Thanks again for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.